Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, I thought it'd be quite interesting if we checked out what Fortnite pros are currently playing with a stretched resolution. And for those that are using a stretched res, which specific stretched resolution are they playing with? This is something I've wanted to know myself for quite a while now, like since the start of 2020, as stretched res for me was something I used to use for a decent amount of time a few months back, but I did end up returning back to native res, which I know that exact same scenario happened with a few pro players like Mongrel and Tifu, they, just like me, played with stretched res for quite a little bit, then they did decide to go back to the default resolution, 1920 by 1080 I'm pretty sure that the reason for them returning back to native res was because of the one disadvantage that stretched res has, and that is the fact that you lose a fair amount of field of view. The FOV that you lose playing on this specific res can vary depending on the resolution that you set. The lower you go in terms of resolution value, the less FOV you'll get as it'll stretch out that horizontal more and more the lower you go. For this to make sense a little bit more, I'll put an example up of a relatively high stretched resolution, and then after showing that, I'll also show a relatively low resolution. And as you can see, between those two resolutions right there, the difference is very noticeable. Like the lower the stretch resolution you go, the more it will stretch out your game and the less FOV you will get. For most pros out there, like Mongrel and Tifu, for example, that one disadvantage I just mentioned there is the sole reason for them no longer using it. In their eyes, that FOV decrease that you get completely outweighs the two big advantages that stretch resolution has. For some pros though that are out there, these two advantages outweigh the one disadvantage and that's why to this day there's still a bunch of pro players out there that play with stretched res. Which before I do go ahead and list those pro players, I want to quickly explain those two advantages first. So for the first advantage, that is the FPS increase slash boost that you get when you play with it. When playing on one of those popular stretched resolutions, you will get a FPS boost when playing with it. The reason for this is because that specific res that you'll be playing features less pixels than the default 1920 by 1080 resolution has and because of that it means that your game will perform better as there's less pixels on the screen that your computer will have to render in so your game overall will run a lot smoother playing on that stretched resolution and for the second advantage to stretched res that is the player model sizes when you play on any resolution that has a lower x value than the default resolution has the player models will in fact get stretched out horizontally which makes them a little bit bigger slash fatter depending on how stretched you go. The lower that x value is, the bigger slash fatter they will be. Because of this, though it does make it a lot easier to hit shots on your opponents, especially in close quarter situations like box fights, do remember guys that it is just the models themselves that get bigger, not the hitboxes. The hitboxes themselves don't get affected by this res change, they remain the exact same size on whichever resolution you do decide to play on. But yeah, overall that's the one downside and the two upsides to playing stretched res. With now us all knowing that, let's now take a look at which pro players are currently using stretched res right now. I'll start off with the resolution first, then I'll list the pro players that are using that specific res, and then after that I'll do a full comparison of all of these resolutions that have been featured that the pros are using, and compare that to the native resolution. After seeing all of that, like what the pros use and the advantages and disadvantages, you guys watching should be able to decide if it is worth using stretched resolution or not. For what the pro players are using though, the first resolution that I'll be showcasing is 1811 by 1080 The pros that are using this are Nyrox and Letwick. And for the second resolution, we've got 1798 by 1080 and the pro players that are using this are Porch, Martos, Jay and Young Calculator. That's unfortunately guys, all of the pros I was able to find that use stretched resolution still to this day. I know it does suck that there was only a few there guys and that did actually surprise me. Like I honestly did thought that there was going to be quite a few more pros using it but apparently not it is possible that i might have missed a few people out there which if i did feel free to comment below the pro player's name along with the stretched res that they're using below as doing that would be really useful guys as i did struggle to find all of these players but yeah, that really did surprise me a ton, guys. Like, I honestly thought there would be more pros using stretched res. I know that the disadvantage of losing FOV can be quite bad, but I didn't think that it was that bad. Like, only a few months ago, if you guys remember, I myself used stretched res and a bunch of pros used it as well. For those curious of what the pros used to use quite a few months ago, I'll quickly
quickly list some of the popular pros that used it back then. For the first player, we've got Benji Fishy. He used 1811 by 1080. The second group of players we've got is Mongrel, Tifu, and Eric Triceps, and all of those players use 1798 by 1080. And the last popular player we've got out of this little bunch that I'm showcasing is Mitro, and Mitro used to use 1750 by 1080. And that's some of the resolutions that some pro players used to use, guys. Now, all of those players are just listed there, guys, all back to using the default resolution in Fortnite. And the reason for that, guys, as what I mentioned before, it's that one big disadvantage. Now though that we've seen which pros are currently using stretched res and the specific resolution that they're using, I'll now show all of you guys a quick comparison of all of them. And that was the comparison right there guys and that's actually it for today's video let me know in the comments what you all thought do you think personally like in your own opinion is stretched resolution worth playing in 2020 let me know your opinion in the comments below for some pros it seems like it still is like i mentioned before those two advantages seem to outweigh that one big disadvantage though in other pros eyes like mongrel and tifu that one disadvantage is the reason that they no longer play that resolution and they are back to the native one very very interesting and stuff overall guys to know if you did find this video interesting or useful at all then be sure to hit that like button guys subscribe to the channel and use code life in the fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins hashtag ad by doing any of these three guys you'll be helping me out a ton and it is honestly really appreciated that's all from me today though guys thank you all so much for watching hope you all have a great day peace